Uh, hello YouTube and welcome back to my Pokemon Black and White Let's Play. Um, we're now in the desert resort, heading towards the ruin, the the ruin caves or something. Just these ruins and um, yeah, this it's quite a big place. This desert resort is it's quite easy to get lost in here. So I'm going to be basically going from right to left, making sure I don't miss anything. Because knowing me, I will probably miss something. Now we end up being something important, or something that's you know really good and something worth having. So yeah, I'm gonna be moving from left to right, and hopefully I won't miss anything. So. Most of these trains have only got one Pokemon each, so none of them are really going to be trick too hard for you. So let's just go run over this way, and look how big this place is. Massive. Right, so this guy is going to have uh, another one Pokemon again, and he's got the this Pokemon which is a grass bug type. I mean, grass bug, but not a uh, rock bug. So, I'll just use dig on it and it'll be super effective, so hopefully it's going to KO it in one. But, um, so, that boosts his speed, which, you know, it's not really important because I'm in, in Sandstorm. Okay, maybe I'm not faster anyway, but hopefully, we'll, hopefully I'll kill it in one and then. Hopefully, I didn't. Yay. So, yeah, right. So that's that's that battle. That's that battle's over. Really, he's not going there. There we go. So if you keep going into these ruins, there's two Pokemon that two main Pokemon you can get from it because there's two fossils. So there's the cover fossil and the plume fossil which is uh, yeah, a cover fossil and plume fossil the cover fossil gives you a tortuga I think it's called the it's a rock it is a rock water type and it's like a turtle and it's not too bad it's just it's got pretty bad stats though and not the best uh, typing. And then there's the other one which is uh, Archon which evolves into Archeops which is uh, like amazingly strong Pokemon. It's got like 140 attack and 110 speed so it's like very fast and like super powerful but its ability means that if it goes below 50% health its attack and special attack are halved which is complete balls so so here's yeah, it's not really it is a good Pokemon I was actually considering to have it on my team as long as you don't let it go below as long as you don't let it below 50% health then you'll be able to do well with it. So this Pokemon's annoying. And this is like the main type I struggle against is water and flying. Which I don't have anything good against. I'm like not very effective. Every single one of my moves on my team is not very effective against this Pokemon. <laughs> so I've got couldn't have been a worse Pokemon to come up against really. And that's not helping either. Super Aqua Rain. So hopefully I've ready. And he's gonna heal back up with Aqua Ring, it's gonna take another. Oh no. So hopefully I'll be able to use hopefully this will take you out. If it doesn't, it did. But I'm on 4 HP, so that was totally not worth it. 400, 
400 XP for that. So, she, she's going to be one of those trainers who gives you berries. Okay, so I just leveled up my starter. Oh no. And he's got 4 HP, or 7 HP or something. I think now I leveled him up. But, I'm, I'm going to end up getting... My Pokemon's going to end up getting KO'd now. Okay, maybe not if I'm against this. But then again, Sandstorm could take me out, which... Would not be good. I don't know if to use water gun or I'm gonna go for razor shell because it's got more power but it is a physical attack which I'm not good with and luckily it takes it out in one and if I survive the sandstorm I might be able to take his next Pokemon out as well. Okay now what he's got pits I'm gonna send out Sark because He's just, he's basically the only, apart from my Joba, is the only really good thing, a uh, good Pokemon I've got against this, so. Yeah, yeah so that's taking it out in one, which is lucky. Well, it's kind of lucky, it's kind of, it's not that lucky really, but. She's probably going to give you berries, she is. A one berry, thanks. That's gonna come in helpful. So switch him out there, but sort first because oh, Christ sake, this this place is too big. Let's get this. TM thirty nine rock tomb, it's like seventy five power and it lowers speed when it hits I think. It's got like 95 accuracy, so it's a pretty decent move. It's one of the best rock moves at this point in the game. So this is the ruins, and I just went in back and there's a Pokeball there, I'm going to come back out and get that. Just run up and get this. Heart scale, that could come in handy later. I'm not sure if you can use heart scales to like learn moves that your Pokemon had forgotten, but try it. Might as well get it anyway. Are you serious? I can't even get over this. What the hell am I supposed to do? Well that's crap. Stupid wild battles. I swear to god, why? What's the point putting it there if you can't even go in it? Now what? Is that it? I've just wasted all that time. There's gotta be a. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's like. The hell's that? The hell? It looks like an egg. It's like a giant egg. Just sitting there. Alright, here are the trainers. This guy's a doctor, so. If you run through it, you'll. What? If you walk through it, you'll fall. And if you run through it, you'll fall. Oh, great. This guy's got Psychic Pokemon. Which I'm not very effective against. Which totally sucks. Oh, and it's part flying as well. So I'm going to be doubly not effective against it. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, I'd send this guy out, but... I'm sending... I'm sacrificing him. My HMs live. You never know, he might survive it and then. Oh, that's tough. That's not good. I'm just gonna have to use. I'm gonna have to use. I'll have to use Leo because. I'm gonna have to use physical attacks now. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be doing any, any damage to it really. I haven't even got any special attacks to use really. I have got water gun, but what's water gun, water gun gonna do really? So I'm just going to go for this and hope. Okay, I'm not faster than it, that's annoying. Damn it. I'm just going to have to let Pyro do all the work. Even though he's already the highest level on my team, there's not really much I can do about this. Hopefully two of them should KO it. Yeah, another one of them and it'll be KO'd. 
that took an annoyingly large amount of health off me as well. <coughs> Which... <sighs> that battle was annoying. Right. So, basically you're not going to want to go through them. I'm not going to go through them anyway. What you got to do is, you got to sprint around the outside. So just hold B, make sure you're as far away from it as you can. Like this next one's blocking the path fully. Just make sure you sprint around as much as you can. And I've got Ninja out again. Oh no, I'm, I can see myself like getting wiped out here. Need a doctor or something. Alright. Oh my god, my stupid dog is having nightmares. So she's like barking in her sleep. So if you end up, well, she's not too bad now, but she gets worse. So if she ends up, if you can hear her through the mic, then I apologise because I don't know why she does it. She just randomly, just, just don't, no idea to be honest. It's proper strange. She does it all the time. You should be laying there in bed, and then she just. Stop like barking and uh, legs will be run trying to run about and everything and it's pretty weird. So yeah, it seems like this whole place is full of psychic type Pokemon, which is really not good for my team. Well, it's not good for the team that's alive anyway. So I'm gonna switch Pyro to the front because. Uh, Ninjash has got really no chance against Psychic Pokemon, so... Oh, I didn't run. Damn it. So you can get a revive there if you need it. I do need it, but... But yeah, I can't be asked using it, so... Don't you just hate wild battles? The sprint. Fuck oh, sake! It didn't even work. Right, you don't sprint. You can, like it's not how you get through here. Right, so I skipped a bit ahead. I don't know about you, but I'm getting pissed off with these wild battles. And there's another one. So I just head into here and cry out loud. Right, so after skipping some more, I think I know how to do it. Yeah, you don't sprint. That's what you do. Just talk to this guy. Still can't move ahead because there's so much sand. What? Uh oh. Are you kidding? I've just done all that for no. Are you actual serious? All oh, right, here we go. This is where you get the fossils. Now the cover fossil is the water rock type that ends up evolving into a Tartuga. It's a little turtle thing. Well, no, it's quite big actually. The plume fossil is what I'm going to be going for. I'm not really going to be using any, but that is a flying rock type. It can fly. They say it can fly, but it, it can. So I'll be using that and what. Please, no wild battles, no wild battles. Yay. So that's that's it really for this. I mean, I'm going to try and get... I'm going to do as much as I can. I'm going to try and head back. Screw that guy. I don't even care about him. Oh no. I'm just going to sprint this way. Heal this guy. And then I'm going to go head the other way to Nimbasa City. So guys, if you... I don't know, I've been told by a few people that um, my commentaries are a bit boring, like... I mean, well, they didn't use the word boring, which because it, it's a bit... Not mean, but... Because I don't really mind, but... People said that I need a bit more enthusiasm, enthusiasm in my... In my voice, like, during my commentaries. But the thing is, I'm not really... I'm kind of a proper laid-back guy. So, there's not really anything... I don't really... I'm not really into all this over-exaggerating business, so 
if you really don't like my commentaries then just let me know below and I will see what I can do but there's not really I don't I don't know how to make them better really I mean I'm obviously gonna get better as I keep doing them which is something that you know you can't can only get better at by keep doing them obviously <laughs> so yeah that's, and um, if I'm not sure if you've noticed but I've been posting questions in the description so I'd really like it if you could you know get involved with that you know maybe type an answer it takes five seconds maybe even like the video to show some support because I finally reached 100 subscribers which is absolutely great for me because I've been doing this for well 16 days this is part 16 so I've been doing this for 16 days and here we are in Nambi Nimbasa City um, thanks for watching and um, please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time when we figure out what these pricks are doing Yeah. See you in the next part.